Hi guys, welcome to Honest SR, where you get unbiased, straightforward reviews of products without any financial support by anyone else. Let's get into the pros first. First of all, I like to say the battery is pretty good for this bigger screen that uses a lot of power. I was really impressed with the battery. The camera is really good as well. Uh, it's one of the best cameras on a phone. Uh, it still struggles in the dark, however it has improved over the iPhones of the past. If, you can't, if you're coming from a plus iPhone, like the iPhone 8 Plus, then this wouldn't be too bad. Um, actually, it's shorter and narrower, so it doesn't feel as bulky. Um, it's also introducing a new uh, light gold version to the OLED versions, uh, so that's really cool. Um, it's got an eye-catching design, face ID is faster, and performance is out of the moon. Uh, it beats any Android out there. Coming on to the cons, it's the most expensive iPhone ever. It's really expensive. I don't like that fact about it. Since Steve Jobs has died, iPhone's price has gone more than double. Um, the other thing is it's really big and heavy. Uh, I didn't like that about it when I was, I, I came from an iPhone 10 to the 10s Max. Uh, with a case, it's impossible to use it with one hand. Uh, you only gain a point six inch of a difference over a 10 or a 10s model um, it's a real pain to charge it takes really long to charge i've got a really fast charger at home uh, and i used like a macbook pro uh, charger to use it through there uh, my ipad pro charges quicker than the iphone 10s max don't ask me why but that is that is the case um, and the 512 uh, option nearly costs two and a half thousand dollars in Australia. Okay, this is my verdict. Um, I I have an iPhone uh, 10s Max at the moment, so there's a disclosure. Uh, don't get it. In my opinion, don't get it if you've got an iPhone 10. Wait for the next iPhones that are going to come just around the corner. Uh, it is not too big. Um, if you're coming from like an iPhone. Um, 8 plus like I said uh, and upgrading from an iPhone 10 or a 10s to a 10s max I don't see a point of it uh, the point of it because the screen size isn't that much bigger the battery isn't that much better the processing power isn't much of a difference especially from from a 10s does everything what a 10s max does um, it, it if you've got too much money and you got an iPhone 8 plus or lower and you want an OLED bigger OLED screen those are the only people I think who should get it all right guys that's it from me for today uh, let me know what you think about my video in the comments and if you want to support my work and you like to see more videos please do subscribe and give me thumbs up hope you guys have a great day thanks